hello 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 all and welcome to the good witch this is your leo may 2021 intuitive tarot reading so energy shifted while i was pulling your cards and oh please remember to like share subscribe and comment in love okay um i do read all the comments i do appreciate all the comments thank you so much um what else like share subscribe comment comment in love there's things i need to remember to tell y'all but i just want to jump into your read hopefully i'll catch up that other stuff later the song there was a song that came out really heavy while i was shuffling your cards um the usher i was trying to remember who sang it if there's a question of my heart you got it it don't belong to anyone but you if there's a question of my love you got it baby don't worry i got plans for you so someone has very very strong plans for you leo <laughs> and the overall energy of your love reading is full moon in taurus you need to go listen to the taurus reading full moon in taurus your dreams need a practical plan which aligns perfectly with that song they might feel like you've been selling them dreams or you feel like somebody else has been selling you a dream and you feel that way sorry y'all you feel that way but if you sit and look at the situation you sold them one first you told them this is for a portion of you you had someone thinking that it was going to be something that it's not you didn't like the small details of them generally they're a good person but there's just something about them that's just off with you and, but you like the way they treat you so you were trying to look over them but deep down knowing it's not going to be what they think it's going to be because you know what you actually want you have the queen of cups lining emotions and moving quickly so the advice for the overall i'm going to have to do a singles and a relationship one for you but the overall love guidance for leo may of 2021 is don't look at the big picture so much that you pour in your emotions and move too fast. What I mean is, okay, so you have this person, right? You could see forever with this type of person. They fit the criteria, but there are things that they do that drive you insane that they can't change. Like, let's say you are a male and you like thicker women, like you like bigger women. But the person that you're seeing is itty bitty petite, right? Now, that is something that we carnally can't get over. And you tried that and you did that. But, and y'all are together and y'all are happy and this petite woman takes very, very good care of you. But you find yourself constantly drawn to bigger women, more voluptuous women, um, thicker women, and you cheat on her with these women. Like, it's not just a visual thing. you That's what you want to be with. So you outsource to these women. But you want to marry the petite woman. Now, that's not something that you want to karmically do because it's not something that you can maintain. If you are dating someone and it's like they're a good person, they're sweet to you, they're nice to your family, all of this other kind of stuff, but you hate everything they like. Like you don't like, you don't have anything in common. You don't want to have anything in common. There is no mutual ground for you two to meet on other than on paper. This is perfect. Don't be so quick to just settle for that. 
there is someone who doesn't disappoint coming your way that might already possibly be there that is you see them sitting on a pedestal they might be a close friend and you put them on a pedestal they have plans for you but and you have plans for them if you really think about it but they don't know what to do with that energy because you're always in a relationship or in a situation or selling someone a dream and they don't want to be a part of that madness so they have plans for you. You need to decide which person you want to have plans for. Do you want to settle for this person that's present? Is great on paper, but not really good for you overall. That you don't really like them like that. Whatever it is, chemistry-wise, you don't really like them like that. That will fail. Eventually. Not this month. It lasts this month, but eventually it'll fail. Or you want to wait and find the person or be with the person that you're passionate about, that you have your issues, you don't feel like they focus on you enough, but you're very, very passionate about this person. You've had plans for this person and this person has had plans for you. So it's not just a dream and it doesn't happen as quickly as you want it to because the best food takes time, okay? So you're going to be having to decide whether you want, you know, a high pocket or a five course meal. So make that choice. That's overall, I don't even feel like I need to separate it anymore, but since I said I would, we're gonna break it up into singles and relationships. Looking at, oh. Singles right now, single Leos are refusing to be controlled. You're refusing to change. You're very stable and you want to stay in that stable state and you're fighting off emotions like it's nobody's business. Like people are coming at you, but you're just not, you'll entertain it, but you're not going to take it seriously. If they want you to change or they want to be in control of you or... They want all your emotions real quick. Leos, y'all are not having it at all. Not single ones. Y'all intend to stay single until you meet this other person that has plans for you and that you have plans for. You're not settling for anything less. Let's look at our relationship, Ooh, relationship Leos. Okay. You, okay. Relationship, Leos. You are having all kinds of thoughts and worries that are running through your head regarding someone that you keep offering your emotions to. This person has water in their chart. Um, very emotional person, but they won't change for you and you won't change for them. And you keep offering these emotions, looking back to see if they're gonna take it, but you're too you're too stubborn and they're too wild. So, again, I think it was that first person that we talked about. Like, on paper, it works. It really does. But it's the little particulars about a person. You don't like the way he eats or you don't like the way she sleeps or you can't, you know, stand his touch and he can't stand your smell. But on paper... It looks good and it looks like that's where a lot of you are and you're struggling to make the smart decision or do you make the emotional decision? Hopefully us. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you to make the emotional decision because you can put in the work for the smart decision to make it work out. But in the long term, it does eventually fail. Even if you put in the work, it could last up to seven years. But in the long term, it will eventually fail. Because someone can only, they'll eventually revert back into some of those ways. Or you'll resent them for changing for you. It's a weird thing. So, 
I'm going to tell you to go with your heart decision. And I rarely tell you what to do. I just give you your options. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. But there is someone who has plans for you and you have these this amazing future coming with this person. But you'll have to get out of your own way first. Okay, let's look at your finances. Right now you need to pay special attention to the details of your finances. Comb through your accounts and get rid of anything that you don't need. You're spending, you're spending too much money on things that you don't need or don't use. Um, your lifestyle changes. This is not the best month for finances, but it's not the worst. Ends are meeting, but they're not tying in a bow like you want them to. This is a time for you to adjust your spending habits. Adjust. Don't worry, but adjust your spending habits. Clean up your finances. Cut off those things that you don't need to pay for anymore and create a blank slate. Catch up old things and old bills this month. Call the people and see if you can get like um, a discount or like a what if I pay it all up front rent. That's the type of month this is. That's the type of month this is. This is the financial month where you're not making investments. You're cleaning up what you already have because your investments look junky. It will be, um, it won't be very much of a struggle or an uphill battle to get back on track with your finances. I don't see you having to cut many things or habits off. I don't see you going into ruin or famine or anything like that. But it is the time for you to clean up, get things in order. You need to prepare a space for what's coming. Not what's coming in May. It may you need to be preparing that space, okay? All right, we are going to look at a message from the divine. You're going to bring love into every situation. Turning a blind eye to some things is probably in your best interest. Is in your best interest. If it's not hurting you, if it's not causing you pain, if it's not um, affecting your life in any way, any negative way, then this is the time for you to overlook certain things and not get involved. You should free yourself of all worry. Sit on your throne and mind your business. This is... You're, you're not lying. It's almost like lies by omission. But it's not lying. You're just not telling anybody anything. You're minding your business and watching the scenery this month. You have enough going on in your own life. Then, so you don't really need to worry about anybody else's. You're just going to apply love and let love apply its own pressure. Send everybody peace, positivity, and light because you're going to need that type of energy to circle back around to you. So right now you're giving. And remember, you're giving without expectation, but you're giving. You're giving time. You're giving energy. You're giving love. You're giving patience. You're giving resources if need be. You're giving energy all positively and all without expectation. But know that the more you put out, you're in that put out phase so it can come back. So it can come back. That's why you're getting your house in order. You're getting your finances in order. You're getting your love life in order so that the things that are coming for you can have space to build before they overflow. You're getting, making room for the build up and the overflow, okay? So peace, love, and light. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being a part of my life. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to be a part of yours. Peace. Have a good week.